Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that Resaw Guy, and I'm here today with... KK. Yeah, so what we have going on today is we have a thrift battle, yeah. That reseller guy versus KK, with some help from her mom. Let's she's get going. She's over there. Yeah, she's over there. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, so we went out and we hit three thrift stores. What were the stores that we hit? I'm trying to... Savers. Savers. Okay. <laughs> Savers, Goodwill, and DI. DI, which is Desert Industries. They're uh, here in Arizona and some of the West Coast here. I know they're not all over the place. So we went to three different thrift stores, and we had a challenge to get two items at the store. That's kind of the way that it worked out. So we each got two items, and then we will see okay. who won each store. Best two out of three wins the contest. What do we win? Not a whole lot. Bragging rights. <laughs> That's what you get. Maybe next time we'll have to make a bet. Maybe she'll have to vacuum out my car next time she, if she loses. Or vacuum I'll, out your car? Or I'll have to do one of her chores. Maybe I'll have to take out take out the, the trashes or do the litter box or something. Do all of them. All of her chores. Maybe that'll be the next one. So yes. when, on challenge two, <laughs> we'll have a bet going for that one. But for today, this was kind of just thrown together. Although I think I, this one's going to be pretty good. Please watch the whole thing. I got some good little clips going as well. We're going to be shopping through the store, so I'll kind of sprinkle those in as well. We're going to have to talk over those because the music in the store is playing. So we'll we'll see. We'll see if it gets copyright strike yeah. or not first. Uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. Thrift battle. <laughs> that reseller guy versus KK. Stage one, savers. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo. Elmo. Where is it? Elmo, come and look at my hair. need another elf? No. Okay, wait, it's a, this exact one seems like it's probably, it's like 10 to like $15. Mm -hmm. And that other thing is a similar. I don't know. 10 to 15 is pretty good. You're only paying five. Okay, that's true. Yeah. So you have an extra. Yeah. I guess So, uh, let's see. If, maybe I threw some clips in there of us going through Savers. Maybe. And we're, we're having some technical <laughs> difficulties getting those videos to my phone. So, we'll yeah. see what we got in there. <laughs> if you didn't, we walked through the store. We probably spent 10 or 15 minutes in each store. Uh, I went one direction. They went the other way. And we found what we could. And we so will see. We bumped into each other. We kind of crossed paths along the way. So... <laughs> So let's find out. We went to Savers first. Let's see what KK got. And I'm going to give you the values. I'll throw a pop-up on the screen. And then we can determine who won the battle at each store. And again, best two out of three wins. All right. Yeah. Store one, Savers. What did you find at Savers? Unicorn. <laughs> it, was, it was in the same bag as this odd ones out plushy thing. So yeah, she <laughs> found a hanging bag that had a couple different... I think it even... Did it have another one in there too? Or no. just, just the two of them? Just these two. Okay. So she knew who that thing was. I had no clue. It's called Odd Ones, the number one S out. It's a little plush. Yeah, because he's a YouTuber. That's uh, how I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> it's a kid's YouTuber thing. Uh, it's a little yeah. dirty. We're going to have to wash it up a little bit. But I looked it up. They sell for about $10, probably in that range. Brand new. You might get $15 or $20. They still had one with tags. But uh, that one's going to sell for about $10. And these don't have a whole lot of resale value, so we're just going off of the number one item from that bag. So we have twenty odd ones out. Yeah. Number one. All right. So that one's about ten dollars sale, and the next item. Okay. Uh, 
little people? Cause this yeah, be... Fisher Price Little People. Batmobile, that goes down, <laughs> and there's a turning thing in there. You probably can't see it though. So yeah, you can see the the little people sit in there. Probably Batman and Robin sit inside. And makes sense. the side so opens up idea. for some reason, so you can get them in and out, I guess. I don't really know. Wait, I didn't even know it did that. Yeah, I know. We figured it out. Uh, I did. So it just has a couple little moving parts. It has a little wheel in here you can put some other characters on. I don't know why they have Wonder Woman in that, though. It's the Batmobile. Yeah, exactly. And they have Joker, so that doesn't make any sense. So, oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look at this. We did not even realize this. So, look. It opens up and maybe this is supposed to be like the bat wing the plane that doesn't oh. look like a plane no whatever it is i maybe, mean it's kind of a plane, maybe it's just a place set i know oh, it's actually it's supposed to be like the bat cave because there's stuff in there so it opens up so you got bat cave we just learned that right yeah. now on camera <laughs> close it all down live on tv it's live coming to you live <laughs> on now if you had the figures with it you could get a little more maybe 15 to 20, but my guess is as it is, no figures, uh, probably $10. Maybe you could push it to 15 on a good day, but uh, maybe because it transforms and becomes the Batcave, <laughs> maybe it'll we go for a little more. We just figured it out. Yeah. So I, di I didn't even know that this moved in the first place. No. Yeah. Press the little bat symbol on the front and it pops open. So uh, yeah, so she got a couple items. We'll just say 10 to maybe 12. 15 max each. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it popped right open. All right, now at that store, I actually walked through quite a bit before I found anything. I went through some of the hanging toys. I didn't see these things that she got. Went through some of the kids' areas. And luckily, they were rolling out a cart that had a bunch of clothes on it or sheets. And they had one miscellaneous thing here, which I thought was pretty neat. I've seen some of these before. And this is a big felt banner. This one's for the New York Giants. And it has all their different... Uh, logos through the years. I've sold a couple of them in my booth. Uh, I think I put them for about 15 bucks in my booth. N brand new in the package. These sell for like 30 to $40 depending on the team. Wow. Uh, yeah. I think <laughs> used like this, I can still get 15 bucks on eBay. So uh, whether I sell on eBay or my booth, uh, that's to be determined. But we're going off of eBay values for, for these items. So I'm thinking I can get 15 bucks for this. Uh, I paid $3.99. Well, we actually took the price tags off of these items, so we, I don't remember the exact prices she paid. So, uh, not too much. I think they were like three ninety nine and maybe three or four ninety nine for the plush. So that was item number one. Item number two, actually, I had only found the one item. I had met up with them. We we're standing there talking, and I look over to clothes rack, and I saw this on the very end, and I thought this was awesome. Look at the colors on this sweatshirt. This is Dot from the Animaniacs. It's a youth size or maybe a very small petite woman. <laughs> uh, it's on an old Animaniacs Andover tag uh, dated like 1994, I think is what it said. 1994? Yeah. So this thing is pretty awesome. I could not find an exact, exact comp for it. Vintage Animaniac stuff can do really well, but more, the higher prices are going to be in adult size t-shirts, not kid size. That's true. But I'm still thinking because of the color on this, because of the graphic, the age, I'm going to ask... $40 for this shirt Dang. based on what the comps say. Now, maybe I'll have to send an offer eventually to get 30, but I think this is a really neat, cool shirt. And I almost didn't find it. it, just happened to be on the end of a rack because I don't usually check. We would have left the store. We would have left the store. I uh, I usually don't check like the kids' clothing very much, so that just happened to be there. Really cool, and I'm hoping for 30 to $40. Hopefully. Hopefully. So. Hopefully. Between the her two items and my two items, the first store, winner goes to that reseller guy. You mean you? Winner. You mean you? Mean winner of that reseller guy. Thrift battle. Okay, okay stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so round one. I got round one. Let me put these items to the side. I don't really have a spot to the side to put them at. I'll put them out of the way. On the floor. Get KK stuff out of the way. We got a little Fair table point. back here. We'll put them there. Here, can you see the unicorn riding in the bat cycle there? All right. <laughs> unicorn in the unicorn bat in cycle? Unicorn in a Batmobile. You've never That's seen that before. Cycle. Oh, Batmobile. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to the next door. What was the next door after Savers? Uh, Goodwill. Goodwill. There's this one plaza where they're in the same plaza other end. So good spot to go and hit two stores. We went to there. Are you ready? Thrift battle. Round two. Or stage two. <laughs> Goodwill. <laughs> 
All right, so we went in that store, and again, they went one direction, I went the other. We crossed paths somewhere along the way, uh, and then I actually met up with them because I had already found, a, actually, I found quite a few items. You see a lot of stuff on the table. We didn't really find anything. Yeah, they didn't really find a whole lot until the very end. They they found a few things. Yeah. KK, definitely with the help on this one of uh, Miss That Reseller Guy, <laughs> helped her out quite a bit. So uh, let's find out what she got at the Goodwill. I don't even know where we're going. Mario Kart! Yeah. No, that's not what Mario Kart found. Oscar. That's not Oscar. Oscar's Oscar. green. Yeah. Rover. I don't know. I don't know any. Rover. Okay, you. you <laughs> so yeah, we got not Oscar and not Oscar. So we got <laughs> we got Elmo and Grover, and these are vintage plush, and they're made by Gund. They looked them up in the stores. They sell for about ten to fifteen bucks each for these guys. Uh, so to do the, these, they were a dollar forty nine each. Pretty cheap at Goodwill. Uh, plus, you can definitely find some good deals. She will combo the two of these together, and I think we're gonna try to get twenty-five to thirty dollars for the two of them. Not too bad for a two fifty or a three dollar purchase. All right, Elmo, what's the next item? <laughs> All right, we got. Nope, the, that the, one's we, not gonna count because that was item number three. We're uh, not counting okay. item number three. We're only doing the top two items. Uh, this thing. <laughs> this thing. That's what she got. I have no What clue. is this? I don't... It's Who makes it? What brand is it? <laughs> What's it for? It's the for? same thing as the Batmobile. It's Little Peep. The, no, little, little this, little this is Imaginex. That's a, this they're is, like the same thing. This is not thing. Fisher Price Little People. This is Imaginex. You they're need like to know the, the difference. They're like the same thing. So for Imaginex, kind of. they have these little red circles that they stand in. And I think if you like twist them... You, oh. Different things happen. Like this one, that little thing pops open. This There's one on the inside where too. the other side pops open. And then if you press this, the little dragon head dragon does that. Now, it looks like it was supposed to have some missiles or something in the yeah, front. It I does not missing, have these. They're missing, though. It does have all the paddles or oars, whatever these things are on each side. And it was marked 649. They actually had two or three different types of these things in there. Uh, my guessing is one person donated them all, got rid of all their old toys. The mom said, you're getting rid of these. You don't use them anymore. You don't use them. You're, Take like, it you're like 15. Yeah. You don't need these anymore. Exactly. You can almost drive a car. You don't need this. So do you remember looking it up in the store? Kind of. A little bit. A little uh, bit. So when I looked it up, there was like a blue version of it. Like I didn't really see any red. Right. But That's exactly what I saw when I looked it up because there was a bunch of blue ones. It's like the exact same thing except for it's just got a blue head, blue uh, sails and all that stuff. Everything that's red it was blue. Yeah. Except the steering wheel probably. And again, there's no action figures with it. So it's just the boat. Takes down the value a little bit. You're going to get a little more if you got a couple of figures with it. And one of the paddle things look a little worn. Uh, but a little bit. A little bit. The problem when you're selling stuff like this on eBay is the shipping cost. This thing is big, bulky. This has to go back to like New York or something. It's going to cost you fifteen to twenty dollars just to ship it. Uh, so that's why a lot of stuff like this I tend not to get. Actually, you probably saw in the video if I remembered to put it in there. I actually picked this up and looked at it before they ever saw it. That's true. So I picked it up, I looked at it, and I just said, nope, I don't want to deal with shipping this thing. But 
again, they're kind of slow sellers. There's a lot more of them available than there are sold. I think maybe five or six were sold. Uh, probably 15 to $20, but it's gonna take a little while to sell. It's not gonna sell in a month. It might take six months to a year to sell it. But Build up trying to get that to like London. Yeah, <laughs> no, no one overseas is buying this. This will cost no. them like $80 to ship over, overseas. So uh, second item was uh, 15 to $20. And her first item were these two guys. And uh, yeah, 25 to 30 bucks for these two. So uh, d definitely check out the plush. Look at the tags. Both of them still have the tags intact. They're like Old from Sesame. 2002, I think. Mm, okay. Yeah. I, I remember that. I don't know how. I didn't look at the year, but we'll set these up right there. So they had a couple of good finds there. She can thank Mrs. That reseller guy for the assistance. <laughs> All right. Now at that thank store, you, uh, let's see. What did I get at that store? Uh, Something. I did get a couple of things at that store. Oh. Yeah, I did not find very much stuff at that store. I did not do very well. I'm gonna tell you already who's gonna win this challenge. I think you'll see as soon as I start showing the items that I got. Uh, you, you might saw me grab these in the video. So the first item up is a baseball, but it's a commemorative NASCAR. One from like 19, uh, 2002, 1992. It's got a year on it, I don't have my glasses. They're here, I don't wanna put them on. Uh, 50th <laughs> anniversary of NASCAR collector baseball. I'll actually take it out of this little cube thing here. Uh, it was $1.49. And they sell for about 10 bucks. It's not a cube. Yeah, well, ball holder. <laughs> it's not a cube, it's a sphere, a globe. It's no. in this ball globe. <laughs> Lunar shapes, father. Yeah, it's, so $1.49 to $10, I'll still take that. That's not bad, but uh, not a huge profit. Her uh, $1.49 plus that sells for about 10 to 15 is better than that baseball. But uh, I like baseball, so I got this one. That was item number one. Number two. <laughs> we, got, we got a Paw Patrol. They're calling it a fun and fit flying disc, but uh, it's kind of like a Frisbee. I mean, look how much fun this kid on the back's having with it. And it has to be a good item. Uh, uh, here's what's funny. It was marked $249. It's got Target clearance tags on it. The last sale price was $1.49. So I could have got this cheaper at Target when it was on clearance than I did at Goodwill. Uh, That's true. Yeah, I looked it up on eBay. I could actually not find this exact one. Maybe, I, actually, I did all the searching yesterday. I've, I've forgotten. Uh, maybe $10 on a good day you could get for this. Uh, it's fairly cheap. What about on a bad day? On a bad day, $3. <laughs> Most likely this will be end up being sold in my antique booth because you'd have to charge $10 just for shipping on this item. Uh, so yeah, so I spent two forty nine for this one, and uh, maybe we'll we'll give me credit for ten dollars because I'm going to lose this round anyway. So I found two ten dollar items, and uh, spent a total of four dollars. They spend a total of three about ten dollars, but they're going to get forty dollars maybe. So their uh, their profit is going to be a little bit better. Round two, winner, KK, and missed that retail guy. I don't know. I keep saying Miss or Mrs. I can say either, though. She, she hates them both. She's over there listening, giving us dirty looks over there, going, stop saying that. All right, so we're back. One round apiece. Got to get a quick drink. I'm talking too much. Ah, oh, This video brought to you by Diet Snapple Peach. Get one today. All right, round three. Thrift battle. <laughs> Stage three or level three, whatever our graphic I'm putting up on the screen. Uh, this is Di. Yeah, she's just gonna keep laughing over there. All right, so, so we're going. We're tied one apiece. We're going to store number three. Three's Di. It's a little ways away from the other stores, but we got over there. I gave KK the choice of another Goodwill or Di. She picked Di. That way we got three different stores. I think that was good. Uh, walk the same thing. We kind of went different directions in the store. Look it up. Yeah, you to have more Are we gonna get copyrighted? Hey. Sit on it. I'm spying on my competition. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay. First I don't up. Know which one? No. Little, I'll what? do this one. It's a. It's a what? Do you even know what it is? <laughs> no. Because she didn't find it. Did, she it, she a, got a lot of help. It's a ring. It's it's some kind of world champion uh, 
serious. I don't watch sports. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's 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 the uh, it's the Super Bowl baseball championship basketball ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this what? is a 2013. <laughs> Boston Red Sox World Series Champions commemorative ring. I actually walked right by this row and I did not see it on the shelf. So you open it up. That's it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get it. The box has a little bit of water damage itself. Oop, water damage. Of course that happened. So water damage. This, uh, these usually they do as like stadium giveaways. Uh, the year after teams win World Series, they'll have a giveaway night. This one was sponsored by Samsung Galaxy. Uh, Go the, get the, one today. Yeah. Not sponsored, so I don't care. Yeah. But but this is kind of cool. It comes in the commemorative box. It gives a list of all the players' names on here. It shows the World signature. Series trophies, fake signatures. Fake signatures, that makes sense. Uh, when these first come out, so like the first weekend that these things, you probably could get $30, $40, $50 dollars for them. They kind okay. of come down as, as the years go by. The last couple, actually there was only one in this exact box that I saw sold, and it went for about 15 bucks. Not Our box bad. is damaged. But because I couldn't find any others like this, I would say that this is a twenty dollar item. Dang. Yeah, she took the tag off, but it was one dollar at the thrift store. One dollar. This is a one dollar to probably twenty dollar flip. I love those. That's why I love Di in that store. So their first item, which she didn't really find, but you know her team did. So it's a team effort. Oh, uh, so tomorrow. first item, dollar to twenty dollar. What's item number two? Item number two. If this thing. If I can hold this properly, Jumanji. <laughs> so this is the original Jumanji game that came out right after the movie did. They did a remake of this game a few years back and actually kind of brought the value of this one down since they did the remake. Uh, actually, another item that I did look at on the shelf, I didn't go after it because the box is a little faded. Yeah, or I guess. a lot faded. I kind of saw that. And this game has quite a few parts and probably every time I find one of these, it's missing something. So if I were to get this game, I would have to probably find two or three of them to make one to two complete games. That's true. We looked through it. KK didn't. And uh, we did find that it was missing a few pieces. Uh, I had some spare parts. It was missing one token. I actually had the, that token. Uh, but it's missing one of the dice and the other dice the labels are peeling off. So it's not complete as it sits. Best thing to do with a game like this is either hold it, wait till you find another one and try to get a complete one. Or you can sell some parts to game. You see me sell a lot of game parts. Ooh, rhino. Uh, there's sell some things the like this little rhino piece. Uh, there's sold comps out there for $10 ship just for the little rhino. So that's not too bad. You got the timer. Again, you got all the little tokens. So you can piece this out. Uh, it's not one of the best games uh, as far as you look at the sell through rate of the pieces. But it is an option if you find one that's not complete. Uh, this was marked, I think it was $3 again. I think we took the, took the tag off of it. Uh, so because it's not complete, I'm not going to give full sale credit for this item. Okay. Uh, probably sells for about 25 to 30 on eBay. At one time on Amazon, these were going for like 60, 70, 80 dollars. Yeah, they were probably that. completed though. Completed though, yes. So we're just going to sit as is. We'll say 15 dollars because it's most of a game, but you need a couple parts. So we'll say 15. I'll, I'll give her 15 dollars on that one. Thank you. So. One twenty dollar item and a fifteen dollar item. Not that bad. No, uh, she did find another item. Tell them about this. What is this thing? A uh, dino mask. I've yeah. wanted one for a while because, like, I I just wanted to paint it because I kept seeing it on YouTube and stuff. But they're so expensive at Target, man. Yeah, these things. If you find them uh, on eBay, new, they're like thirty dollars. You can see back here. So it's got like a padded mask, and then when you open it, it's spring loaded. So. Pretty does that. But I guess people customize these. That What do they do? Paint them? Color yeah, them? Yeah, like paint them, like glue stuff on, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So here's what it looks like now. Maybe one of these days, I'll take a picture of the before, and then one day if she ever does anything to it, I'll take the after, and I'll be in a video probably three months from now when she does it. You mean like two years from uh, now? Two years from now, yeah. <laughs> so so she got this. This was only this was three bucks as well. It wasn't a part of our challenge, but... Just figured I'd show it to you because I bought a lot of other stuff at that store. You see all these toys. And I bought toy bags. I bought all kinds of stuff. All for my antique booth or collectibles booth. But not part of the challenge because we're only kind of using the top two items that we found. Now, here's here's my DI found, finds. I found two items here. Can you speak properly? Uh, not always. <laughs> not when I start ba babbling. Babbling. Uh, so this is Walt Disney's 101 Dalmatians. 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 <laughs> Dalmatians. Do you want me to say Dal? I say Dal. I say Dalmatians. 
That sounds weird. It does. But <laughs> it has the lid. It works. It's clean. That so if someone has the lunchbox and they need the thermos, I have the thermos that they need. Uh, there this you go. was the right there. This was $1. Makes sense. And they sell for about $8 to $10. Uh, not that bad. No. And this one's in pretty good shape. A lot of times they'll get really faded. But this one's in good shape. Uh, a lot of times you'll get a crack here, a crack in the lid. Just check it out. Make sure that's in good shape. But one dollar to I'll just I'll give myself eight dollars because uh, we'll say one dollar to eight dollars on that one. Pretty good. Yeah, and the other one is this Dodgers that was bad. mouse pad. That yeah, was bad. That now was bad. I being a D backs fan, I cannot root for the Dodgers, but I will sell their merchandise. This was three dollars. Uh, again, it's a mouse pad. This one does look a little it is bit. It's a dog thing. There's a dog on the back. It just shows all the There's different products they sell. They sell dog clothes. There's a dog clothes. So $3, realistically, 10 to 12 bucks. So uh, another kind of smaller dollar items that I found at the store. So because my items kind of stunk, round three in the thrift battle goes to KK. <gasps> KK was a winner in round three as well, giving her two wins to my one win, which makes her, I hate to say it, the thrift battle winner. Mother, I won. Good thing we <laughs> didn't. Good thing we didn't bet anything, and I don't have to do her chores for this one. I'm gonna have to work a little harder in the next one to make sure I don't have to do all of her chores. Make sure she has to go vacuum out my car because it gets dirty on, on there all the time. Whatever. <laughs> all right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the thrift battle. I hope you uh, put down in the comments that you want to see more of these. Let just let us know which no, one was your favorite down item. There. Yeah, Somewhere, down in the comments, down there. hit like and subscribe there. too. I know most there, of you do somewhere. already. I don't so. know where they are. Yes. If you want to see more KK in the videos, put that down in the comments too. She needs to do some more editing for me and do some of her voiceover work. All right. <laughs> down there. That's it. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you liked the first thrift battle Official ever of, uh, on that Reseller Guy channel. That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.